have I got a special surprise for you guys. So at long last, we're releasing Duck Season PC. I've heard from a lot of people that are like, oh, you guys are making these awesome VR games, but I don't have a VR headset. I've never been able to play anything you guys have made. Well, you're in luck today. As of right now, it is out today on Steam. So yeah, and you're like, I know you, you guys are working on Boneworks. So when did you do this? We actually did this like six months ago. Uh, we had Cameron in the background working on a PC port. It was a kind of an experiment. We wanted to see if we could take a purely made for VR game and move it over to a, a non-VR game. Uh, and we never intended to do this from the beginning, but we're like, the more we thought about it, we're like, I think we can. And so we tried it. I don't know, I don't really know of anything else that's done this. Uh, so it's an interesting experiment. Let's check out the trailer. Mom? Help me carry on these groceries. Oh, you got duck season. One day rental, so make sure. available today on Steam. Let's play a little bit of it. Approaching moving a VR game over, it was interesting because we're like at the core of it, anything that's good in VR should also hold up in non-VR, right? Like it shouldn't be completely reliant. It should be a good game from the, like, from the start. It shouldn't just be the VR mechanics. And the VR just even makes it, makes it even better. So as you can see, the entire game, the entire game is intact. Uh, and Duck Season, Duck Season is a wide game. Essentially, there's, there's multiple different endings. You play through the campaign, which basically takes place all in one day. Uh, you start at noon and you pretty much work your way through midnight or maybe midnight, depending on what ending you get. And it encourages you to play it multiple times uh, and really see all the different endings. And we did a few extra things for uh, the non-VR release, which is addressed like the number one thing, which is we made the duck hunting way uh, different. You get like your vanilla sort of like ducks flying back and forth, the classic, right? But then you also get these different modes like Duck Sanity where they're flying at you. We have one where it splits into multiple ducks and all those modes are coming to VR as well in the next week or two. Uh, we're we'll putting a patch out. And you'll recognize some familiar faces along the way. You got Sam there. Now you got another round in the chamber and you're ready to shoot. <laughs> ah. This is interesting, I don't know. Some of you guys probably know everything about this game and other of you guys have never, never seen it yet. So I don't want to spoil too much, but basically this is noon. Uh, Mom is back there in the kitchen. Uh, working away, she doesn't really pay too much attention to you. And then everything in the living room here, we got our, we got our normal stuff. We can eat our bananas. <laughs> everything you can do in VR, you can do in non-VR too, but just with like the traditional PC controls. Got a kazoo kid from Mike Diva, and of course, we got Duck Season. Pop that in there, fire it up. So this is uh, this is sort of like the brainchild of all of us over at Stress Level Zero. Where we started like just, it started kind of as a joke. Where we're like, man. Like you can never shoot the dog in duck hunt. And so we kind of went from there, we're like, what if? And then from that blossom, this entire sort of narrative that centers around, do you or don't you shoot the dog when you have the option? You basically, you hunt, the, you hunt ducks, you go to the different modes, you advance time, and then from there, things happen and the plot thickens. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, this game looks gorgeous. You're playing it on a, on a top of the line gaming PC. Well, here's the interesting thing about going from VR to non-VR. Essentially, this thing runs on anything. Because we optimize it for VR, so in VR you have like super high frame rates, super high resolution, and it's in 3D, right? But non-VR, it's just 1080p, 60 frames a second, 140, you know, whatever you're playing at, and much lower resolution. So, the min spec of this, we got it fired up over here, come on over. So we started just pulling out like every random card we could find, and we got it running on a 280, which is a card from uh, 2008, I believe and we got it fired up on like a two core uh, Pentium. So we put those as the min specs right now. Uh, pretty much like try us, like any computer you have in the last decade is gonna run this game. So fat duck mode, starts with the big duck. You'd be wise not to divide it up too much.
a little more intense than the classic. I keep seeing in comments over and over again, people are like, oh, I wanna, I wanna support Boneworks, I wanna support Boneworks, uh, but I don't even have a VR headset, I'm gonna get Boneworks. Like, don't do that. <laughs> like, get Boneworks if you have a VR headset. Instead, if you wanna support Boneworks, get, get Duck Season PC, play that, and then when you get a VR headset, then you can support it. Don't get something you can't play. Um, also, obviously, Duck Season PC is available today. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's blow it up over there on Steam. Head over there, check it out right now. Uh, links in the description below. And uh, let me know what you think, tweet it at me, show it to us, participate in the forums, we'll be around, and uh, stay tuned as we finish up development on Boneworks. Thanks, guys. John Wick in my cyberpunk mm. in the year 2077? That's Neo Deco, that's not John Wick. Wait, John Wick from Fortnite in Cyberpunk? John Wick from Fortnite?